The galaxy was peaceful, before the Void tore and released its giants from the denizens of Konatia. The first planet to fall and be converted to biomass, many species tried and failed to stop the hulking behemoths of flesh and carapace that absorbed laser and kinetic fire without flinching. In only a few short months, half the galaxy had been silenced despite its furious last breaths. As we waited for the ever encroaching darkness to take the rest of us, our saviors appeared from the stars beyond our galaxy. Their ships spent time and space around them, seeming to unfold from the very fabric of reality. Beings clad in thick, onyx black armor fell from the sky like meteors to the earth. They charged the giants, fighting these abominations that they only reached the knee of and won. I'll never forget the first time I saw a void giant. Flesh and carapace as dark and purple as a fresh bruise, its head a misshapen blob of antenna and crushing mandibles, tearing meters above the shops and houses it ripped and crashed through. Then, a streak of light. A figure clad in dark black armor crashed into the street in front of the giant, kneeling as their armor radiated heat from atmospheric entry. Rolling their neck, they formed a fist with one gauntlet, a thick blade extending from their gauntlet as they stood. The giant had paused, antenna twitching at the lone figure. As though they were of one mind, they charged each other. The armor-clad figure leaping high into the air, bladed arm rearing back. The giant clapped their hands together, where the armored being had just been, making a deafening boom. The armor-clad being drove its bladed arm deep into the giant's chest, making the abomination roar as gravity took hold, ripping the bladed arm downwards with the being it was attached to. The giant slapped at the armored creature, as it ripped carapace and flesh open, from sternum to pelvis. Putrefying purple organs and blood bathed the armored being as the abomination wailed, falling forward as he tried to scoop his organs back into his torso. Only for the armor clad figure to leap straight up and slash his neck open with their gauntlet blade. The figure somersaulted mid-air, landing impossibly lightly on their feet, away from the shower of putrescent purple blood. Then, retracting their blade they launched back into the sky, leaving the dead void giant to cool on the pavement. Stories like mine were reported, galaxy-wide, and for a long time we knew not our saviors' names. We called them Guardians, the Void Guard, the Precursors, Giant Slayers. Years passed without us knowing the slightest information of these Giant Slayers of the stars beyond. Then, when the final giant fell and rebuilding had been completed, they introduced themselves. As humanity, the Wandering Guardians of the stars.